Let's get started. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is grab an X-Acto knife, utility knife, and I'm just gonna use this pin. It's not permanent, but I am gonna mark where I'm gonna want to cut my hole. So the flamingo will be sitting up like that. So I'm gonna do about that size of a hole. And I'm just simply gonna somewhat trace around this with my knife. Be careful. This is definitely not a good project for kids. Once you get the hole cut though, it might be a good project for your kids to help you fill it if they're looking for something fun to do this summer. And I'm learning that the trick for this is just to kind of poke around where you've marked because I don't think the exacto knife is the best tool for this, but I could not find my utility knife. I would recommend one of those if you can. So this is just gonna take a little while and I'm just going to pretty much just pop it through around until I make the whole circle shape for the cutout. And we have our hole cutout. And now it's time for the fun part. We're just gonna go ahead and toss the extra plastic from each flamingo away. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill my large one with soil, but so I don't have to fill the whole flamingo with soil, I am going to stuff in some of this just brown paper bag into the front and back part because I don't need soil to fill the whole thing. So just kind of place it in there. And then you're gonna simply dump your soil. And I grabbed some Silver Star Helichrysum. I probably did not pronounce that correctly. And I'm going to kind of break up the roots a little bit and start putting it into the flamingo. If you just want it to be a simple green plant, you could um, just fill in with a little bit more in stock there. But I am gonna add a little flower to the front side just to give it a little bit of color. So I broke this plant into two separate plants. I'm gonna put the first one in the front side of this one. And then what I will do is just stuff the remaining soil in to make everything fit nice and tight. And with the small flamingo, I am not gonna use any filler because it's quite small and I don't think we're gonna need anything like that. We'll stuff that guy in there and then fill it with the extra soil. And I'm just attaching the legs to both flamingos simply. And now they're ready to go into the ground. And here's a look at how my DIY flamingo planters turned out. I think they're super cute. I love that there's a large and small one and they're gonna be perfect for summer. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. I've been looking everywhere for these. Look at these flamingos that I found at Dollar Tree. I have something really fun planned with these. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna make. And this is an 18 inch straw wreath. Um, these come wrapped in plastic and you do not wanna take the plastic off. And I picked up some of these um, artificial lays at Dollar Tree when I was there picking out my um, flamingos. And I'm going to use these floral pins. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these. Don't, you don't want to cut these apart because they'll just kind of fall apart on you. And they just have these little straws in between them. And I'm just going to take these and I'm going to start around the edge. And I'm going to just pin them right to our straw wreath. So we're just going to take this, again, several places along, and don't try and stick it through the petals. That will be harder to get it in. Just stick it over top of them. And see, it only took like um, four places, one on each end and two um, in the middle. And we're gonna just keep doing that. I wasn't sure how many of these it I would need, but so I picked up plenty. I'm having lots of summer parties, so I'm not worried. I figured I would use the extras if I had extra. Now, that's a really pretty wreath already, isn't it? I thought the colors were a little flat on these Dollar Tree flamingos, so um, I picked up some acrylic paint. This is um, tickled pink. And I am just going to add some, a light coat of paint to 
my flamingo just to give it a little bit of texture to it. I don't want to load it up too heavy. I'm not going to get it down in the crevices. And I'm happy with that amount of paint on my flamingo, but I didn't really care for the yellow. I like, um, and some penguins have penguins. Some flamingos evidently have all black feet, and I just thought it would stand out better against the pink. So I am painting um, my beaks all black on both of my flamingos. Okay, so now we have our wreath with the lays on it from the Dollar Tree and my freshly painted Dollar Tree flamingos. Then you will find that each of your flamingos comes with two of these wire uh, legs, if you will. And what I've done is I just take these um, wires uh, and you want to have a really strong pair of wire cutters. You might have to work it a little bit, but you will be able to cut them in half. And you're going to put a wire in one of the holes, not too far, just like that. And you want to put a healthy helping of glue all around the bottom this is still waddling around, so I'm going to have to keep going with this until it will hold still and won't slide up into the flamingo. When the glue has dried on your wire, you're going to take the wire and don't push on your flamingo. Hold on to your wire, dig down inside the petals of the lays until you find an exposed piece of the plastic or the straw and hold the wire and push the wire all the way down into your straw wreath, okay? Now, it may look like we're done, but we are not done because to me, there is nothing that goes with flamingos like hibiscus and plumeria. Now I have used my steel pick machine and added some steel picks to some of the weaker stems, but this is what the steel picks look like when you put them on your flowers. And I'm just going to take these and put them around the base of my flamingos. And they're kind of going to act like my bow on the bottom of my wreath. And remember, same thing, you wanna dig through your petals and stick them right into your straw wreath form. But look how tropical that hibiscus looks there. This plumeria has a really stiff stem, so I'm going to be able to poke it right down into my straw wreath. And this is gonna dress up the bottom of the wreath just perfectly. It won't need a bow at all. Now, if you decided you wanted to add some ribbon, of course you could, but I'm not gonna add any ribbon to this one. And adding the leaves also is a nice contrast to all the pink. Well, I told you we're ready for flamingos by the pool this year. And look how cute cute this looks on my back door. This is great. I am ready for summer now. How about you? I hope this inspires you and I look forward to seeing your flamingo reeds displayed right here on Home Talk. Have a great summer everyone.